Thank you for reminding me to extend that. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, oh God. God. Did we name the baby? Oh, God. I don't know if we did. Hello. Hi. Howdy, howdy. Hi, Kevin. Good morning. Uh, how we doing? It is definitely an early morning for me. It's good God, dude. I not want to wake up. How we doing? How we holding up? It is way too early for this. Uh, hi guys. Hello. Thank you for reminding me to extend that challenge, by the way. Because it was at like three days left. So it should be back to 29 now. <sighs> hi everyone. How we doing? I don't know if we did name the baby. We may we might have as a bit, but I don't remember. Quite looking cozy today. Thank you. I, I have my comforter like right there in case I actually get cold. But I, I am very cozy. Now I can be extra cozy. <sighs> Don't mind me. Just just gonna just gonna bundle up. Ready for a nice, nice cozy direct stream. I don't get my hair in my face. Hi guys. Hello. What are we doing today? It's 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 a Tuesday, I think. Yes, yes, it's Tuesday. When Monkey Ball? I can stream Monkey Ball at some point. I have it for PS5. Ugh. Second Monday. Yes, it's Monday too. Um. Yeah, I, I can stream Monkey Ball at some point. Uh, it's just my my schedule has been. Eh, I'm not gonna bother giving you guys my excuses. I think y'all y'all know I'm busy. <laughs> I apologize. I've just been hopping between 30 different projects, trying to pay rent and all that stuff. So, <sighs> you know how it is. Um, at some point, I'd I'd love to um stream some of my animation again, but I don't know if my patrons care about me spoiling stuff or not, or if it's just me that wants to keep things secret. The aim... <sighs> my donations then? Oh, in the, the drop-down on my actual Twitch page? When the last time I looked, I thought I thought you were talking about like that A, like right down there in Sunless Studio, and I was like, what? I, okay, I need to actually see if this is true. I, I I haven't looked at it in a minute. Uh, please don't automatically play anything. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> <sighs> and my little panels look like emojis. It's fine. <sighs> Why must you all torture me like this? The other A's aren't as bad. Eh, the social media one kind of does. Oh. Regardless, <sighs> Kevin, why are you texting me? Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate it. Ooh. Hi guys, we're here to watch the Monster Hunter thing that's going on in 15 minutes? Yeah, 15 minutes, give or take. Um, I don't know what's going to be shown here. I'm hoping for the Faded Four, as I have been for the last year and some change. So, eh, that's all I got. Everyone wants to look at Chris. Of course, I've got my my three ultimate T-shirt on because I wear it for all Monster Hunter events. Um, I saw some people begging for gigging out. So let's see what let's see what Twitch chat wants. Twitch chat, what do you want? Uh, let's see. Do something special. Come on, Apex Kesu, Gormagala. Everyone wants more Gormagala. Everyone wants the Magalas. Um, Makarkos, mm, 
Akinator and Palmos. Eh. Gobel. I'd love Gobel. Apex Kelby. He seems really too cool to only have in one game. It's true! Save for Astalos. Uh, everyone wants underwater battles for no reason. Celtus Queen. Arceus crossover? That'd be fun. They've done Nintendo crossovers a lot in the past. But with this one coming day and day in PC, I don't know if that'll happen. Has PC gotten it? That's a good question. Has the PC gotten any of like the 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 content? Well, they're like mostly Capcom, so I don't know why they wouldn't have the crossover stuff. Because Rise hasn't really had any like Nintendo crossovers. That's interesting. Because like Generations had a bunch. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not double dipping. Yeah, that's fair. I, I, I played the demo to see how it would run on my 980. <laughs> uh, PC didn't get Aloy. That's true. Was Aloy? Aloy was Ice? I No. Aloy was World. I don't think Rise got... No. Rise didn't get Aloy. Huh. Aloy was Base World. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they had some some updates for it in Iceborne with some extra costumes. Because I remember they had the, the, the bear costume for the Palico. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, I'm excited. I, I don't really know what to expect. Because, like, I don't have my pulse on what the people... It's rising being on Steam. So, yeah, I'm sure it's a rights nightmare on some end. Because like, there's some reason that it can't happen. <sighs> Give me a scene where I kiss Minoto, please, Mr. Suzuki. I'm, I'm calling you out, person in the Monster Hunter Rise Twitch chat. I'm calling you out. I mean, same, but damn. Just uh, put that out there, huh? I'm just reading the Twitch chat at this point. Hi, guys. Uh, how, how, how you doing? I'm very tired. And then, I was gonna do Monster Hunter music for stream intro, but I've gotten attached to, uh, Kirby Dream Course music, so that'll probably be my, be my music from now on. I don't know from now on, I'll probably change it at some point, but for the time being, it's gonna be Kirby Dream Course. We have about eight minutes left. So, uh, do I want? I want Poogie. Poogie's not in this expansion. I'm gonna be upset. It's so weird that Rise didn't have a Poogie. If if Sunbreak if Sunbreak doesn't have a Poogie, I'm gonna be upset. Coffee sounds good. I brewed myself a hot cocoa, so I'm simply vibing. I have some coffee, but I don't drink it. Because, of course, the friend that I got my Keurig from was like, Hey, here's some coffee pods. And I'm like, thank you. I won't use them. <sighs> yeah, I'm simply vibing. Yeah, a lot of people want the Megalas. I simply do not enjoy the race's aesthetic. Dango song rocks, of course, but everything else just doesn't build. I, I can understand that. I... I don't know how to express it. I... I disagree. I think. Yeah. I... The, something about the world... It's like... I want to say it just feels cozy. Just running around and hunting stuff and being in the hub world and all that stuff. But I there's something off about it. Hi boob, hello. How you doing? Hope you're having a good morning. Or Yeah, I think you're in my time zone. Or at least close. Good morning. Hello. I have hot cocoa and I am simply vibing for now. Um I played 95% of Rise, played bigger arenas like World Level PC release, just want to buy it. Yeah, that's fair. 
I, 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 I can empathize with that. I, I like Rise mechanically more than I think I like the world, but the world is actually still pretty good. Um, I, I, I had, I think I had basically the same problem as Josh, although to a lesser extent of, I like it. Of course, I don't think Josh likes it mechanically, but I, I, I love it mechanically. It's by far my favorite Monster Hunter to play. I just wish it had- there are, like, some weird emissions that I wish weren't a thing, like... Tetsukabra. When you have a baby Tetsukabra in the hub world, I expect to fight the Tetsukabra. <laughs> just little stuff like that, and, like, the story left off on some weird cliffhangers. It was like, oh, we're gonna get updates to, like, kinda finalize it. And then... the. the uh, didn't really like him in general, I still don't. I mean, that's fair. I, I... I think it feels like a very nice extension of Hunter movement and gameplay. Uh, of course, I, I play Hammer, so I just like spinning. I like being able to spin whenever I want. That's, that's, that's the extent of how much I like <laughs> all that stuff. Base world was excellent mechanically, the clutch world was terrible. I don't hate the clutch world like other people do. I think it's fine. I never use it, but I didn't think it was a sin against humanity like everyone who's played Iceborne does. I don't know. I, I, I never beat Iceborne. I got to, I think I got to Bracadios and then could never beat him because I kept trying to solo it and I just didn't have a handle on the mechanics and by that time because i was playing it late by that time rise was coming out so it's like oh i'll just play rise <sighs> but yeah it'll be interesting seeing what monsters are in here uh speaking of which we have man a lot of people want kuro peko and that makes me happy um we got about three minutes left cool capcom still has a chance to win me over yeah if we see Apex Conchu in here, I think everyone will be won over. I, I think that'll be that'll be the the big get. <gasps> Still hot. Yeah. But yeah, I, I I love Rise mechanically, so just adding more content content to it is perfect for me. I know there's a lot of people who didn't like it mechanically, so. I don't know what they can do other than add Clutch Claw. <laughs> I'm sure people will love that. Like, we're bringing back a fan favorite mechanic for Sunbreak. It's the Clutch Claw. And you can only use it in underwater battles. <laughs> and then every single Monster Hunter fan dies. And it's funny. They bring back underwater battles for this. I don't know how. I'm just going to see Twitter explode for the next year. It'll be hilarious. Rise is 33% off like an extra on PC. Not too bad. If I wasn't trying to save so that I could pay what I'm probably gonna owe on taxes, I'd I'd, I'd nab that. <sighs> Looks like a Dollar Tree mug. I don't know if it is. I don't think it is. I don't remember where it came from. I've had it for years. I think I get, I think it's like one that my mom got that had like a bunch of stuff in it as like a get well soon Christmas gift, whatever thing. Like, oh, it's got some chocolates in it and like a pencil or something. I don't know. I just like the penguins. <laughs> Dollar Tree BB? Yeah, probably. Cool, cool, cool. Hi. Hi, Steve. How we doing? We are simply being cozy and waiting a minute for the Monster Hunter thing to start. Just let me go ahead and pause our Kirby music, as fun as that is. I am excited to see how the new Hub World streamlines things, because I, I felt like this is very early for me. It's true! I, uh, the last couple days I've been getting up at like noon or 11 and so I got up at like 
ate today and I wanted to die. It was really cool. And very exciting. Um, I'm gonna shove that for now. Need a blanket. Oh. <sighs> Alright, Capcom. Impress me, I dare you. I don't know. I'm just excited to see what monsters come back or are new. And for them to inadvertently spoil the story. Or whatever story there is. So. We'll see. It'll be interesting. I'm wondering if it'll have, like, the spooky aesthetic that the flagship has. Because I don't know if it will. Because he's, like, the kind of Dracula vampire-ish type monster. I don't know. We'll see. Then let me know how the... <laughs> So is it nap time after this? Maybe. I'm not sure. Depends. Hello. I still like you. Hi, Mousy, you know. I want to fight you. Oh yeah, and there's the, the big uh, moon puppy. She is so cute, that's true. Give me more Cenotaurs. I want more of them. I completely forgot about the ice puppy. I forget when he was revealed. Up, 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 up. Mm. That's not the stream. The the fog is actually moving at like three frames a second. Hello everyone. I'm Ryozo Tsujima, Hi, Ryozo. producer on the Monster Hunter series. Today we will be bringing you the latest information on Hi, Monster Hunter Be Bitchin. Sunbreak. It do expansion to Monster Hunter Rise, which is scheduled to be released in summer 2022. Give us a release date too. That'd be nice. We have plenty of new updates to share with you. Let me know how the audio is. Watching until the end. Keep watching till the end. With <gasps> that, let's kick things off with a look at a new trailer for Monster Hunter new Rise. New trailer. Right. Let's go. Enjoy. The game is canceled. Did he say September? I don't think he did. Could be a little louder. Oh. Is this a new guy? He looks familiar. I think this is a new guy. Yeah. We get oh boy. Armored monkey. Like an Arancator monkey. There we go. That should be better. Capcom presence. This is a cute looking hub world. Love love when hub worlds are just bustling cities. Like actually bustling. And not whatever the heck Astero was. The hunter from Kamura. Hello. Humble greetings. Alright, hello. Why is everyone hot? Except you. You're like 12. Why is everyone hot? Ooh, big castle. Same. <gasps> Wait, was that? Wait. Which level was that? That was a level from Generations. Oh god, what do you fight there? Ooh, Bisha 10. Our new, like, fire Bisha 10. That was the thing that was teased. Moisturizer as well. Yes, it's true. Hi, Tigrex. Oh, new wire bug moves. You could, like, yeet the monster. Go away, Rathalos. Dog has a gun! Dog has a gun! That dog had a gun. <laughs> sense something odious. That monkey has a gun. Hi, Malzino. I don't think it's Castle Shrade. As far as I know, it's a new one. We got a new guy and oh. <laughs> My boy! Oh my god! Oh, it's him! 
Oh my god, it's him! I've been screaming for this boy for so long! Look at him go! Look at him go! Oh my god! I... You guys have no idea how much I like Astalos. Holy shit, I'm so hyped. Oh my god! Actually bringing back one of the Faded Four. Oh, June 30th, okay. Oh. Now, let's look at what this game has to offer, including what you saw in the trailer just now. We saw Astalos. That's all I care about. Oh my god. Now bring back the rest of the four. <laughs> I think they're only missing. Who are they missing? Monster they're missing Rise, um, is the massive expansion to Monster Hunter Gameth Rise. and... It's filled with new content that builds on the base game, oh, such as a new story starting at a new base. No? New locales, is it just Gamut? Monsters, gameplay no. Mechanics, and a new but is Glavinus in here? I don't think Glavinus race. is in here. He was in Ice, ice Brine, right. but I don't now think he is. Now let's take a look at some of the new elements of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, starting with an all-new locale. Which I don't know how the hell they do Gamut. The Citadel features various environments ranging from lush forests vine to icy mountains. I like Each this map. teeming with never before seen endemic life. At the center lies an old fortress, long abandoned to nature. The remnants of a once prosperous civilization now serve as a bastion for dangerous monsters. Give us a name for this monkey. Garangong. Jeez. In the surrounding woodland area resides the mighty fang beast Garengolm. I don't know if I consider those fangs, but sure. This behemoth may seem docile at first, but it won't hesitate to attack with its huge body. It will monkey punch. Once enraged, its left arm is covered in moss, and its right arm in magma, allowing it to attack with both fire and water elements to make it nearly unstoppable. Oh boy! It's... <laughs> It's another element changing one. A style where? We saw him before. Harambe's revenge. Next up, we have the fanged wyvern Lunagar. <laughs> exactly, Donnie. Exactly. This monster can cover its body in ice to act as body armor. When enraged, Lunagarin reveals its true form, standing on hind legs and thrashing its claws with deadly precision. I like this guy. It's rumored that there's nothing that its claws cannot shred to pieces. He feels like a, a, a wow enemy. What's more, a new subspecies of the cool. mischievous Bishaten has been discovered. Mm -hmm. Blood orange Bishaten. Oh, he's got pine though, cones. Instead of throwing persimmons, this Bishaten throws exploding pine cones. Hey, it's... <laughs> it's... God, what the hell is his name? Where's Last Sam Trios? The powerhouse Astalos makes a return baby appearance. Boy. Baby boy. Ah. This flying wyvern can generate electricity, which it stores in its horn, wings, and tail. God, he's gonna look so good. When all parts are fully charged, the power God, of its he's gonna look so pretty. Truly devastating. God, I'm so happy. Don't think I've ever fought Astalos. He was only in Generations, so you probably didn't. Following the events of the rampage at Kimura, which saw our hunter and companion successfully defend the village against the imminent onslaught of monster hordes, peace had finally been restored. Fair. Some devastating casualties. Or so we thought. Our hunter is about to face the biggest The biggest the sunbreak arc begins with the sudden appearance of the, the ferocious Lunagaran at the Shrine Ruins. There, we are confronted by Dame Fearain, a knight from a distant kingdom. Hello. You're in good hands. I sure am. She seeks aid in the investigation oh, of a terrible threat that faces her homeland. Thus, Monster our hunter sets off for the Elgato outpost. Having saved Kimura Village from the calamity, the hunter is tasked by their friends to set out to Elgato, a research outpost in a distant country. But like like stream deck and streaming equipment. A oh, God. town with lots of trade, as well as a research facility to investigate monsters. So it's got all the conveniences a hunter requires. I love this. This looks so good. You'll even find a familiar tea shop, popular as ever. Is that? No. 
It's not. Okay. The command post located it looked almost like the, the, the shop from Tri's online hub. Made every day yeah, to exactly. It reminds me of the town from MH3. The Same brain cell. It's like, huh, is that... It's this not... It's supposed to be the, 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 another version of the... Good God. Hunter. What a handsome man. And the other royal knights. Like I said, why is everyone hot? Murray, the quirky scientist. Counting on you to come through. He's got big pants. He's known to be a genius researcher, Sam. but he's also kind of oblivious to the world around him. Hey, me too. <laughs> there is also Chiche, Elgato's quest damsel. You'll be getting your quest from her. Not quite Guildmarm, but I'll take it. Why, hello. Hello. Don't let appearances fool you, though. There's more to Chiche than meets the eye. Oh, she goes Super Saiyan. You'll also meet other characters, like Minail, the blacksmith. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. And a full cast of interesting individuals who will aid you in your hunt. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh. So far, the investigation in Elgato has identified. Yes. Garen Golm. It sure has. Mm-hmm. And the elder dragon Malzino. That blacksmith MH4. Is it? Threats to the kingdom. I haven't replayed MH4. These priority Long targets are referred time. to as the three lords. Team up with the knights of the royal Very Lord well to could save be. the kingdom from Malzino and the impending calamity. Okay. Hone your agility with new sure. wire bug actions. Explore new wire new locales stuff. packed with unique monsters and take on new master Very rank quests. Outfit. Yeah, sure. What is big circle? It's a new adventure uh, in an unknown it's like world a, a for your dumb hunters. Dumb thing. Is that all the info we're gonna get? Those ruins do look badass. Next, let's go over some product information for the release of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak on June 30th, 2022. Show me more about the dog gun. I'd like to know more about the dog gun. Those who already own either the physical or digital versions of Monster Hunter Rise and only want to purchase the expansion can pick up the digital version of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak as downloadable content. Okay. For for how much? Also available for purchase is the Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak Deluxe Edition, which features the Sunbreak expansion as well as additional bonus content such as layered I armor sets, it, gestures, wait. and hairstyles. Oh, I like that hat though. That's a badass dog armor. Those who would like to start playing from the beginning of the base game. There's gonna be an ultimate whatever version okay can pick up the monster hunter rise plus sunbreak set to experience the full package Give me a price please this contains the main game of monster hunter rise plus the expansion like monster hunter rise sunbreak in one convenient set this is a great option if you want to start with monster hunter rise complete it and then move seamlessly into the sunbreak expansion i would like to do that but i've already beaten rise We've got some purchase bonuses as well, which include layered armor for both your Palico Sheba. and your Palmute. Sheba. Make sure to pre-order the game so you Guess don't you gotta miss out. pre-order. <laughs> yeah, they got me. We will also be releasing three new amiibo for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. I like that Palmute armor. You can use these amiibo uh -oh. to unlock special layered armor in the game uh -oh. and to make use of the daily lottery to uh -oh. gain a variety of useful uh -oh. items. Uh-oh, wow, that that's some fucking armor. You won't want to miss out on these. Why are they hot? Damn. Pre-orders for the digital version of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak will start according to the following schedule. That's so, today. Mark your calendars. For more details I, on it's Monster still Hunter today. Rise Sunbreak, be sure to check out the official website. Okay. Cool. I sure will. But they said stay to the late. Stay to the end. But just in Japan. Okay. Moving Great. along, I'd like to share some news about the Monster Hunter Rise base game. It's cancelled. Oh, that's my pop. 
How about the PC version of Sunbreak? As previously announced, uh, players I will think be it's able still coming day and day. New content after completing the seven-star hub quest, Serpent Goddess of Thunder, in Monster Hunter Rise. Beat the game. You got it. To help players meet this requirement, you got the Defender armor. Powerful mm -hmm. support items. All items will be provided free of charge to eight players who are new to the game. Hey, look, These give me text of copper, the Defender please. series for all 14 weapon types, the Black Belt Hunter armor, and the Veteran's Talisman. Defender weapons give have high attack power, which can be very helpful in early quests. The Black Belt Hunter armor boasts high defense and can activate useful skills, such as increased attack power or recovery. Neat. Every single Monster Hunter game has had these once an expansion comes out. You'll also be able to claim layered armor sets from your old pal Senri the Mailman. Rise is 40 bucks on Steam right now? Yeah! There's also Not the bad Guild Cross set, which is useful if you want to gather harvesting items and reach high rank quests more quickly. On top of this, you can look forward to new event quests and various contents, which will continue to be released. Man, they're until March really 25th. quick to just stop giving us stuff for Use rise. these beginner-friendly weapons and armor to prepare wow. yourself for Sunbreak. Can we get or for trying layered? out any of Probably. the event quests and collab quests you haven't played Wouldn't yet. Wouldn't be surprised. We have some news about a patch for Monster Hunter Rise as well. 13 On the release gigs. of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, Monster Jesus. Hunter Rise will receive a title update. This allows players to access certain content from Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Even if you haven't purchased the expansion, this update will adjust weapon balance, as well as add item packs and okay. character edit vouchers from the day Sunbreak is released. Okay. 13 gigs, Jesus. This update is also required for online play. Oh, I guess it's so you can see that this stuff will need about 13 if you're playing with someone storage. who has some break. So please plan gotcha. accordingly and make sure you have enough free space on your storage device. That's neat. Next up, a reminder for players yeah. in Europe, North America, and Australia. That you can free trial play it for free on Switch if you have Switch, Switch Online. Currently available exclusively to Nintendo Switch you can just Online play members. the whole game for free for a limited time. The game trial is available between March 11th and 17th and lets you continue your save data after purchasing the full game. Yeah. If you haven't already bought Monster Hunter Rise, please check the game trial out while it's still available. More details are available on your local official Nintendo websites and Nintendo eShop. If you're interested in trying out Monster Hunter Rise, I strongly encourage you to take part in the game trial and experience the game for yourself. I have. I beat it. The digital version of Monster Hunter Rise will also be on sale for a limited time, so now's your chance to pick it up. That's a bummer. It's a story on PC. <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't be too hard. It's like, what, six quests? You know what? That wraps it up for today's announcements. Mm -hmm. There's still plenty more to talk about, though, so we'll have more information detailing new monsters and gameplay to share with you in the future. So stay tuned. Yes. To reiterate, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak will release worldwide on June 30, 2022. We plan on releasing several free title updates after its initial release. To the surprise of no one. We'll keep you updated on this in future announcements. Thank you for tuning in to today's special Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak Digital Event. No problem. Yeah, <laughs> just like this camera, this camera, this camera, this camera, this camera. Mm -hmm. You said stay to the end. You said stay to the end.
cool. <laughs> Gormagala would fit into Sunbreak perfectly. Um, good God. So how about PC? <laughs> uh, Astalus. That's all I got. Thank you, Monster Hunter. Um, let me just, real quick, do something. Okay. No crab, rather unfortunate. There is crab. Uh, we do have confirmation that, um, which Cenotaur is it? Um, is this Shogun Cenotaur? Shogun Cenotaur is going to be in it, at least. So we will have crab. No crab gameplay. Yeah. Um, cool. Um, well, we have a date. That's nice. Um, uh, Golem Gorilla looks cool. Um, a lot of people. I know a lot of people were hoping for Legiacris, but uh, the Astalos. They're also very adamant about not telling us the price. I don't know if they've ever really told us the price. That was more just a thing that I was hoping for, just so I'd be able to know. Um, yeah, Asselos was, a Gla was Glavinus in Rise? I don't think he was. I don't think he is. I'm pretty sure he's not. No, he's not. Huh. Malzino is a very cool dragon. It's true. If they added the guy, Chris, I would commit war crimes. Yeah, that's fair. Donnie, you've seen the the prototype footage for Monster Hunter World that had the guy, Chris, in it, right? When they were still testing out mechanics. Because that's some of my favorite, like, oh, god damn it, type of... I haven't actually... Here, let me pull this up. The guy, Chris, World. Because it's, it's very cool to see like these kinds of games in development and see what they were planning if it ever actually loads and, like, looking at all these early mechanics and stuff and like limited HUD super low poly three ultimate maybe despise him that's fair three ultimate maybe despise a lot of things here I think it's like around here don't know why my internet is poopy right now. Come on, YouTube. You can do it. I believe in you. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. I don't expect it to be super expensive. If it's 60 bucks, I'll riot. But um, I'll never miss limited whetstones. Neither will I. Because good God. Yeah, like super <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Just it's still working on lighting and it just kind of looks like Garbo. Still ironing out mechanics. If anything, this looks like four a lot artistically. But just like super rough models and all that. <laughs> And there he goes. Bonk. And here he comes. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Da -da 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 -da. It's like, oh shit, let me up, let me up. Oh god. But yeah, they, they had him in prototypes. Um... And they just couldn't get him to work mechanically with the game, so they had to scrap him. But there he is. There's there's the lad. And then he and then he eats you. And you die. <laughs> Which is too bad, because I, I really like his look. His gameplay sucks, but I love the way he looks. Um anyway. 
off on that tangent, um, I think I would not actually mind underwater coming back. I would, as a hammer main, prefer if they didn't. Because I would rather die than have to play it underwater again. <laughs> I don't know you, but I hate you. Um, Blood Orange Bisha 10 is cool. Um, I think they teased that already, like a while back. Um, uh, she, 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 just, just, she, 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 she. 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 Make my very good boy. Also, she. Okay. That's an, that's, an, that's enough of that. Um, hot. Yes, it's true. Um, yeah. I'm excited to see because they showed some those white pants. Nah, no, no, I I think they work. Um. Let me see if there's a version on YouTube so that I can kind of go through. Monster Hunter. Sunbreak Digital Event. I think this is an upload of it. Because there was some mechanical stuff that was new in there too. Like, especially Dog Gun. Um. Whoop. Whoop. Let's see, where would the mechanic stuff start? Here's our big boy. He's got the swipies and he can do some bullshit. The little orange Bisha 10. That's a cute name. I, although I'm confused that he doesn't throw like flaming oranges or something. Like that. Just yanking a monster forward. That's cool. That's new. I like that use for wire bugs a lot more than like just kinda. It's just the <laughs> It is <laughs> it's... Oh no, it has an actual claw. I didn't realize. <laughs> okay. You're right. It's just the clutch claw. Oh no. It's literally like a claw gripping onto him. You yank him forward into stuff. That's it's cool. More whatever rages. Dog with a gun. 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 Basil geese. I don't know if that's a new thing for. Oh, that's adorable. I want to know if that's based on a monster or if it's just a thing. Because if we... It almost looks like... Uh, Mal Malfestio, I think? Yeah. Almost looks like Malfestio, but like, more punk? He's got Malfestio's color scheme, at least. Or no, it just looks like uh, the, the songbirds that already are in the game. Okay, I'll shut up now. It's like, oh, is this a future update? I like this castle, I and mean, I like this theme. I want to know what these weird birds are. You stink real bad. So it looks like he's going to have something to do with the boards. Those are like the, the like, stat boost birds, right? Or at least they're very similar to it. Very cool. I like the Clutch Claw is back. Because I get to hear people complain forever about how Clutch Claw is back. Um, show, me, show me him again. That is a handsome man. I, I just need to take a second to appreciate how handsome this man is. 
I think the worst part of Clutch Call was the wounding it didn't mean Yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. Like, if it's just to drag a monster around, I think I'll be fine with it. But, like, using it to weaken, um, how much to get my hair cut like that, I need to grow up my beard a hell of a lot. But I, could, I could probably, like, pull it back real hard like that. Cool greetings. I don't know if I could get cut like that. That'd take a lot of styling. I like that guy. She's just going to be like a secret ass kicker, I can already tell. Yeah, exactly. You can still run up walls and eat yourself around. This made me think, what was the map from Generations? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, the one where you fight, um, what's the stupid monkey? Um... Congo Bongo, whatever his name is. Oh, I can't remember his name. Congolala, that's it. Uh, this made me think it was the map where you fight Congolala, but I think it's just tree sap, because there's a bunch of bugs. And this made me think that it's going to be like a Guiding Lands type of location that just has like a section that has each locale. Because you've got... Because I think this is still the castle map. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. I love the Guiding Lands. I never got to the Guiding Lands because it never beat Ice Ball. <laughs> um, but it could be. Because this is the only locale that they mentioned. And they showed like a few different things. I don't know if it has like a place where lava could be. But I guess it could be like underground or something. Um, You got like some ruins up here. You got some ice, you got some trees, and I think that's probably where, like, the spooky forest that you see Malzino is. It could be, like, a Guiding Lands type situation. Because, again, this is the only map that they've mentioned so far. I don't know if we'll be heading back to any locales. No, that's not true. We're fighting in the, the first map over here. Okay. I'll shut up now. Um... Just yeet the Tigrex. Dog with a gun. I don't know if that's an existing uh, bow gun thing. If it is, someone let me know because I never played bow gun. Because I suck at bow gun. I suck at ranged. I like this shot. That's it's a cool looking castle. I sense something odious. Something smelly. Also this. 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 Loyal dog costume. This. This. This very good. Um, other than that, there's not too much. Let me, sh let, show me, what's her face again? Show me, show me the, the thing. I don't entirely understand why these three are grouped together. Like, Malzino, the dog, and the golem? Are they all supposed to be, like, co-flagships? Like, the Fated Four? It's Hachiko. I... Like, are they trying to frame it like that? Because that feels a little weird. Because they don't really feel like co-flagships. They feel like... Here's your flagship. Here's some other monsters that are in the expansion. I I could be completely wrong, but the priority targets three lords. are referred to as the three lords. Team up with the knights of the royal order to save the kingdom from Malzino. Knights and the of the royal order. Hmm. Interesting. Your with new wire bug action. Explore new locales packed with unique. New monsters. wire bug action is a show you just running up a wall. Take on new master rank quests. There's a basil geese. Um, there's something else. Where are you? Where's the? Show me what's her face. Show me the hot blacksmith, please. Please show me the hot blacksmith. There she is. 
Good God. Damn. I know I try not to be thirsty on stream. But God damn. She reminds me of um which which Dragon Quest is it? <laughs> what are the Dragon Quest protagonists? Uh the one with the hamster. Um you eight. Yes. Here, here, let me quiz a thing for redheads. I won't say that's untrue. Let me just, just, just kind of. Tell me there's a difference. You can't tell me there's a difference. There's no difference. <laughs> but yes, good God. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. There's a huge difference, are you kidding? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that's cute. There was like a, a calico. Um, I want that. I want that. I want that. I want one of them. Is that like a bomb badge? <laughs> <laughs> that's cute uh i can't wait to hear people complain about so far, the graphics the forever because this is very obviously running on the switch which ha Blue does guard. which i'll admit going into it i was like oh they've already said that it's probably going to be day and day with pc stuff but the fact that graphically all of the footage we've seen is like Definitely just on Switch. Like, there's some pop-in back there. Like, you'll see this go away in a second. Give it a minute. You can definitely see, like, the interior of it pop-in as they go across. It's interesting. It has me a little worried, but also not, because they're trying to develop both of them at the same time. She reminds me of the mechanic girl. You know what? That's fair. I, I now that you say that, I see it too. I, I forget her name, but I know who you're talking about. Um, Sunbreak product info. Cindy, that's it. Yep. Everyone hates on her, but she was cute. She is cute. Of Monster Hunter Rise, and only want to purchase the expansion can pick you up. You can just buy it as DLC. Yes. Um, good God. I know some people that are really going to want this, this Palico armor here. Let me just, let me just, let me just send that to someone. Let me just send that. Um, yeah. Um, if they don't bring back... France, I'm going to shit myself. Um, and good God, <laughs> how'd you know? How did you know, Kevin? Who told you? Um, why is my camera doing that? That's weird. Um, there are gonna be a lot of people that want this amiibo just for these. Good God. Those are some amiibo costumes. Pre-orders for the digital version of Monster Hunter. Pre-orders start now. Yes. Um. Yes, I can send. Give me a second. Friend wants a screenshot of the thing. Boop, doop, boop, 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 boop. Just do that. Sorry. Sharing this with my friends. Um, they didn't really talk about how the story is going to happen. It's just like, hey, the story of Rise happened. Anyway, you're here now. <laughs> Which makes me a little concerned that they'll just kind of cut everything off. I don't know what this is. Monster Abnormalities. 
I don't know if that's just like an apex thing. Uh, I guess I'm not getting Stranger of Paradise. Rip. That's okay. Um, I was not going to either. <laughs> I'm fine just seeing clips from that and being like, that owns. And just being okay with that. Um, damn. Guys, I think I've got a crush. By crush, I mean crush me. Um, this hub world looks great. So much better than, like, Astera or any of that. Looks nice and condensed. So that I don't have to walk everywhere. In the kingdom. Man, my dude got some titties. Jesus. This research is headed by Admiral Gall Oh, hello. Where are you? You look nice. Yes. I always played horse, so <laughs> let's ah. shut up. Admiral Gallius. Leader of Fiorain and the other royal knights. This is Bahari. The yeah. Um. This hub world looks great. I'm excited to explore it. Um. I don't really see too much of it itself. Like, that's definitely the quest board. That's definitely... I think that's the food. It looks like everything's outside, which is nice. There's no going inside to do a specific thing. Which is cool. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Auto. Research outpost in a distant country. At least it looks like it's outside. Elgato is both a well, let's let's go to that overhead shot. Still no, still no poogie. Okay, so here's what we got. That looks to be the smithy up here because of course, fire and stuff. Though it could also be here. Got like a roller coaster going around. No, it's just minecarts. Um, here's your gathering hub type area. Although this could also be like a online gathering hub. That could be a thing. Um, here's your shop and your, no, this is the smithy. I think. Unsure. Here's your, your departure point and all that. Nice little place you can get up to that you can jump off with the gang. It, it looks nice and open, which I like. Um, not sure what this is, though. I don't know if this is just like, hey, here's where to go to get more quests. And to, like, talk to Mr. In Charge, dude. This town is so cute. Very, with, like, all of the wood over the water, very big MH3 vibes. I, I love it a lot. I think that's the command area yeah probably that's where you go to meet yeah exactly where you go to do story stuff um but yeah it looks small and cute and fun and looks like they got rid of a lot of unnecessary like going in and out of buildings which is cool of course i could be wrong and there could be like 30 different loading zones that you can't see um, yeah, so there's your, your Palico Smithy. There's your shop. You'll even find a familiar tea shop, popular as yeah, ever. there's your, there's your online gathering hub that you can just pull people into. God, that looks so good. Okay. The command post located yep, in there's the command post. The of yep, there's your story stuff. Progress is made every day to solve the mystery of the anomaly plaguing the monsters in the kingdom. Counting on you to come through. I like him. He seems cool. I like his scarf. Um, yeah, I don't want to go too deep into it because I'm sure there's a billion things. Morphed wire bugs. I missed that they called it that. Interesting. Hi, Jim. How's it going? Wait, did they already say it's 
lush forest to icy mountains. So yeah, it's like a multi, Citadel a multi-environmental map. Lush to icy so it is kind of like the guiding lands. I don't know if it'll function the same, but At the center lies more fire bugs. Marionette Long spiders. They probably function similarly the to the other ones. Prosperous civilization now serve as a bastion for dangerous monsters. Dangerous monsters? Anything but dangerous monsters. Um, yeah. I like Mr. Golem Spider. God, my boy looks so good. I'm so excited to have to fight him again and grow to hate him. It's going to be wonderful. God, he looks so cool. I need just a 4K version of this as my wallpaper. Jesus. I love this boy. I hope I hope we get his executioner's axe. Because the reason I... One of the big reasons I love him is because Emerald Beater is that his axe or his his hammer is just a glowing executioner's axe and it is the coolest thing can't wait for this risk of rain 2 update hell yeah hell yeah like when you charge it it like these parts expand and the green glowy parts start to like glow harder it's so cool I love Astolo so much. I'm so excited that he's back. Like, that is the one monster I've been screaming about since Iceborne. That needs to come back. Because he's just so cool. And so cool looking. He's basically if an RGB keyboard was a fucking monster. And it's great. To investigate mon Can it be Elden Ring Greatsword? Uh, probably. Hey Jim, I need your opinion on something. I, I need you to see an NPC from this game and tell me what you think. Give me your opinion, Jim. What do you think? I, I need the Jim take. Yes, big Nodder's moment. It's true. Um, yeah, game exciting. Um, I might have to stream some more Rise before this happens and like finish up all the event quests I never did. And, like maybe drag my friends back into it. Good VA too. I don't know who they are. I'll, I'll have to look into their stuff. Um, there's nothing really said after that other than play rise please um beat the story you can play it pre or start now everyone's horny for this layered armor um yeah game look cool i'm excited um that's that's really all I got. I need to go do work now. <laughs> vampire woman. It's true. The everyone is gonna be horny for the the vampire costumes in this game. It's gonna be great. Um I said something odious. Um yeah. Game look good. Amex sight. And and this is a Monka moment. It's true. Oh, yeah, video games. Bet you should have seen the latest Raid Boss in F in 14. Uh, at some point, I, the thirst was unreal. Oh, I'm terrified. Uh, I'm sure it's absolutely wonderful. Um, I, Knowing the 14 community, I, I can imagine. Um, But yeah. I need to go do work now. Look forward to hopefully more streams in the future. Given I'm not utterly exhausted by everything I do. 
because good god am I a busy boy right now and I apologize oh but yeah thank you all for coming I, I'm sorry that I've just become a reaction streamer now who just watches events I, I promise I'll get back to streaming art and games and stuff soon um but yeah I, I appreciate you guys still being here and watching this stuff cheesecake later I I've been meaning to ask what what do you mean by that? Are we just like going to a cheesecake factory or something? I, you just said, do you want to do cheesecake on Tuesday? I'm like, yeah, I mean, I like cheesecake. Okay. <laughs> okay. I wasn't sure. I was just making sure. Well, I guess I'm getting cheesecake later, guys. Um, awesome. And then we about to, yeah, of course. Anytime. I, I, I like watching stuff with you guys, even if every once in a while it gets me utter, utterly nuked back and forth with copyright claims. I don't, I don't care about that. I, I just like I like being here with y'all and talking about the stuff that I care about. So, thank you guys for being here. Um, I'm, it's actually dinner with Collapse Group, but yeah, the factory. It, oh, everyone's coming too. Okay. I didn't know if it was just an us thing or if it was... A J thing. Okay. Cool. Neat. Awesome. Um I I I keep meaning to because we ha I haven't there hasn't been an a new uh three D weeklies in a minute. So I might go back and do a couple that I missed. Because I never did I never did fruit. <laughs> you're fine steve i was just very confused and i was a little concerned because it's like tuesday is our usual like meeting day and i was like am i gonna have to tell jay that i'm going out on a date with steve um it's fine and then i never did dessert so i'll be there just okay cool awesome i'll see you there jim um yeah that, that's all i got for now i appreciate y'all being here i hope you have fun watching me stream and yeah, I, I I love you all. And it'll actually be a date. Okay. All right. Catch you guys later. Love you all very much. Stay healthy. Stay safe. All that good stuff. And catch you guys later. Peace out.